Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a patio bowl pond. Um, when I usually post this on Facebook, it gets a lot of like, how did you do that? And well, well, I would love to see how you did it. And I try to explain it to people, but it's kind of hard to explain. So today we're gonna be doing a video on it. As you can see, all the stuff is in the background. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned because it looks really nice, okay? That's gonna be like a above water viewing thing, the big tall one. So the fish are gonna like come up out of the flower pot and it's just gonna be really cool. It looks even better at night. I ordered some more stuff for it, so I'll be having to do some kind of update video on it when that stuff gets here. It's from Wish, so it's gonna take a while. But other than that, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of like waterproofed all the electricity and all that and how I put it on my balcony and we'll fill her up and show you guys the finished product and it's gonna be worth the wait it's gonna be worth sitting through the video because it's really really nice i love it like i'm out there all the time staring at it and yeah i really want to show people how to do it before like it's too late in the summer because you definitely still have time i put a heater in this thing so like it can stay out probably till like end of september you know so yeah definitely get on it if you want one it's so relaxing and it's really pretty so let's get started Okay guys, so first thing I'm going to do is put in our gravel and then I'm going to be putting in some of those seeds that make grass. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of be visualizing where is my hang on back filter going to be so that I can kind of map out how I want the bottom to look for the fish. And hopefully for me, hopefully the water won't get so dirty and I'll be able to see all this like little aquascaping down here so after the rocks are already kind of moist I'm gonna use those wish seeds I love and since the gravel is moist it's gonna stick to each other and stick to the gravel and start to create like a mucus and just create a carpet plant so I'm gonna go in with like about half this pack maybe a little more it's really hard to tell because the gravel is the same color as the seeds, so hopefully I got a good coverage. But I don't want to use all these seeds because they are so cool. If I do get an idea, I want to have some. So, yeah. I'm trying to show you guys, but it's impossible to see this the same color as the gravel. So now... I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten all this stuff out. I'm trying to think ahead so that I don't have to disturb the seeds too much while I continue. But I think the next thing I'm gonna do is try to find like an aquascape looking rock and go ahead and put that in. This one's kind of perfect. I like this side because it looks like a little baby frog can sleep right there or hang out right there. So we'll put it like that. And then I'm trying to think of some more things design wise. I think I want to put some of those river rocks kind of to make a river type shape right there. Okay, yeah, just like this. I think that looks super good. So yeah so in something like this you are gonna want a bubbler especially if you have a lot of hours of sunlight where you're putting this because you don't want that water to warm up and not be holding any oxygen the fish will be gasping at the top and you don't want that you want them to be swimming around comfortably so a nice big bubbler like this is going to make sure that the water stays oxygenated even when it's warm because warmer water doesn't hold oxygen as well as cold water so this will hopefully keep them breathing comfortably even if okay so now that's all buried day. and it's looking really good another thing i added since the last video was a lucky bamboo plant so okay, i'll show you guys how viewing, i put that in the viewing tower whatever you want to call it um this is the biggest question i get when i post it on facebook is like what am i sitting it on so basically i have these two little candle holders that i put down in there like this and then i sit the big base on top of these and 
I do I don't do it like this because the fish will get stuck and like go around in circles if I do it like this and there's just one opening to get out and it's a lot less confusing for them since it is glass so yeah I put those in and then I sit that big vase on this and I'll show you guys how I get it filled up with water in a second okay so as you guys can see I have the little candle holders down there and now I can sit this vase I got from Walmart on clearance. So it's gonna sit like that and the fish will be able to swim all the way out and up and see a like rooftop view. <laughs> so this stuff is all actually from Walmart now that I think about it. So this is really easy for anybody. Besides this plant, this plant's from PetSmart. It's like a tube plant. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put that right in here. I was kind of struggling, so I was a little bit too rough with the plant, but <laughs> cringe. Sorry, sorry, plant. It's a type of Anubius. It's not gonna die. So for the lucky bamboo, what I did was put another smaller vase and another bigger vase on top of it, and then the bamboo will go in there. I had an even smaller vase, but it broke, so. Now that the Lucky Bamboo is in and the River Rocks are in, and I'm actually going to put some of the little grass seeds in there on top of the River Rocks to see if that will give us a cool look. So we'll see. A lot of the stuff on my channel is going to be like little experiments, like some of the mini tanks I'll be doing. And now our airline tubing is going to go right on that little blue piece that was sticking okay, out. Okay guys, so we're almost done. The last few things I'm going to add is these two pieces of driftwood. Again, I got these from a creek in my neighborhood. I boiled them and look, pretty cool. Add something for the fish, right? And adds that little wood touch. So for free, we're going to add those and then a moss ball and we'll be ready to fill her up. Okay, so I think this is already pretty wet because this all was set up before. I am going to use beneficial bacteria anyway, but this all was set up before. As you can see, it had algae and all that, but I'm making it like 10 times cooler. So we'll add the wood like maybe like that. And then I like to put the little moss ball right here. I know fish aren't smart, but like kind of give them a idea like, hey, if I keep swimming through this to the green ball that's how I get out so maybe they'll get it I don't know but they seem to have no trouble sometimes I'll stick my hand in and put food up here so everyone gets food and it's fine so yeah Okay, so now we're outside and I'm pretty sure people are probably looking at me like what the heck is she doing? But so far I'm really loving it. We have the bubbler in. I'm probably gonna have to get a few more river rocks to fill up that vase and other than that, it's looking really good. But I also wanted to show you guys kind of like how I did the electricity or like the wiring or I don't even know what to call it, but how I waterproofed everything. So I used for this part for the outdoor outlet a oil container that I washed out really good and then stuck the outlets into and then the hang on back filter has some plastic wrap where I think like the motor would be I'm not even really sure if it's there but hey better safe than sorry and then I have a heater for any chilly nights if we do get a cold front that'll kick on and then here it's just a tub of wear, and everything's on an extension cord. The filter, the heater, and the bubbler are an extension cord. And the extension cord is inside this tub of wear, and everything is in there. Just cut little slits and stick the plugs in the slits, and yeah, it's waterproof. And I just almost broke this really nice piece of glass and ruined the whole video. Way to go. Okay, so since the little water viewing tower 
that I'm trying to put in here is so tall. I'm going to have to get creative because I can't just do like how you would do like when you're playing with a water bottle in the pool and like you lift it up but not all the way and all the water stays in. I can't really do that because this is so tall. So I'm going to have to just leave it in and I'm going to use this airline and stick it to the top and hopefully be able to pull out all of the air and rise up all of the water. So stay tuned for that. Okay, and finally it's time to fill her up and then I'll show you guys how I get the water up the tower. Okay, I'm gonna take like two gallons out of this. I know it looks too high. I know I don't want my fish to jump out, so I will take some out after I see how much water this is gonna take. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead now and suck the air out of this thing and the water level is gonna rise all the way up to that tape that I taped the airline with and make it just easily slide right out and off. So all the way up putting it in the corner to make sure to get every little drop of air and now this should just slip out pull lightly and that's it so if your tower or vase you're using is too big or you're doing it in a weird position you can do it that way too so that's it pretty much it's finished i hope you guys love it now let's go bag up the fish so here are the fish i keep in that little pond just two couples a black and orange and a female and then a blue veil tail and another female as well as a bunch of fry i know i should get about two to four more females and i will that'll be in one of the upcoming videos we'll try to find some with some pretty tails okay now that we have all the fish bagged up i'm just gonna go put them to acclimate hey scrappy what is scrappy up to and there we go those will acclimate for 15 20 minutes and I'll take some water out to be safe before I let them out. And I'll be treating the water in a minute. And yeah, that'll be it. So now, while the fish acclimate, I'm going to go ahead and treat the water with everything it might need. As well as get the flow going. So this is just some easy balance. It just helps to add vitamins, reduce stress, all that good stuff. Now this is the beneficial bacteria, so this was already a set up pond, so I'll just add more to be safe, and then lastly that was just the water conditioner, so they have everything they should need, although this pond was already set up, so all the gravel and everything has beneficial bacteria in it still, so they'll do great. Alright, there's everybody swimming around. Here's the beautiful little males. They look absolutely gorgeous out here. And the fry grow so fast out here. That tiger endler even looks good. We have our first few checking out the tower. Little guppy fry, curious and checking out their new little tower. Oh wow, look who's in the tower. This guy looks boring at first if you just look at him at first glance, but if you look at him very closely, he's very beautiful. He has almost every color of the rainbow in him somewhere. I'll see if I can get you guys a good look at him in a second. And this is just the perfect addition to my little garden. I can sit out here for hours and look at these fish. The glass just like magnetizes it. And let you see like the colors of your fry and let you see how everyone's looking and examine your fish so trying to get a good shot of this boy if you look at the side of his head he has purple green you look at his tail he has blue in it i mean it's like wow he's absolutely gorgeous so yeah they're just checking everything out 
I just can't get over that fish. In the perfect lighting, it just looks beautiful. And now the blue veil tail has come up to check it out. And a little female. They're checking out what's going on. And a bunch of fry are coming. A word spreading that you can see out of the bowl. <laughs> Yeah, these guys look absolutely beautiful out here. And I have some algae control. Once the tank is a little more set up, I'll be putting some algae control. And I have an umbrella out here to help with overheating, keep them in the shade. The little tiger in large is doing good. He's still staying pretty tiny. I don't think he'll get any bigger. Bunch of fry in here. Who knows what we'll get. I already saw one with a blue tail. And I saw one with a red tail. And then these little lights on at night look amazing. I'll have to show you guys a little clip of it at night. I have a few more things coming from Wish. Which are going to look great. So now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the bubbler. And everything will be done. Okay, so here is the finished product. Everything's bubbling and flowing, lots of oxygen, lots of surface movement. We'll get it treated for algae, and we'll get the umbrella up, and it'll be great. Everyone seems to be enjoying it and doing really good. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video, and I hope it inspired you guys. Thank you, like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Before you guys click off, stay tuned for some awesome B-roll shots of it at night with an awesome LED light that came from Wish. So, if you guys want the LED light, it's just called Submersible LED Light. And here's the B-roll of that. Okay, so as you guys can see, it looks even better at night. I'm totally in love with this. If you want this light, it's called Submersible LED Light on Wish. So yeah, I really want you guys to try something like this at home. And if you do, please do send it to me or let me know. And yeah, it's a remote control light. It works really well. So other than that, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.